Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Canada Immigrants. I hope you are safe and sound and all your near and dear ones are also well. So let's get started with today's video. Today I'm going to talk about how we house hunted in Canada. So we arrived in Canada in the last week of November 2020 and we stayed for about a month in a space which I had rented out on Airbnb. So out of a month uh, for 14 days we were in quarantine, we didn't go out. After that we started our house hunting and we were lucky to find a very very good agent. He was recommended to me by a friend of mine who stays in Canada and she spoke very highly of him and so we decided that let's um, go ahead with him and let's uh, find a house with his help so now when we started the house hunting the first question was should we rent a basement or a condo uh, as you must have seen in so many videos about uh, house hunting in canada that most of the people recommend that you should stay in a basement to save some money and uh, during the first couple of years it's always advisable to save your money and then when you have a stable job you can move on to a bigger house maybe a condo or or a townhouse or something like that so uh, our agent used to show us uh, like send us mail in which there used to be a lot of listings some of them were basements and some of them were two bedroom condos and apartments and to be very honest uh, in Kuwait uh, we used to stay in a very big house and with like huge windows so I used to get um, you know fresh air and sunlight all the time so I didn't want to go into a basement because I didn't uh, want to feel depressed later on you know because in order to save money you get into a basement and after a couple of months you start feeling low and depressed so I didn't want that kind of a situation so I discussed with my husband and we felt that it's better to rent a condo or an apartment so that you know like we are in a happier state of mind as it is you're far away from your from your family and there is this pandemic going on and there is this uncertainty about job so the one thing about which we wanted to be certain was that um, we stayed in a good house like with proper ventilation and a good view and connectivity uh, so that um, we could feel happy we could be in a happier state of mind so that's how we decided to rent a two-bedroom apartment now for most of you that might seem a little illogical but i think that's a personal choice if you want to save like 400 to 500 dollars you can rent a basement depending on the area you can get a basement for 1200 or 1300 or 1500 even 1700 1800 dollars depends on the area on the number of uh, rooms in the basement on the number of washrooms in the basement basement and also on the number of members in your family so everyone's requirement varies and accordingly the price of the basement varies when it comes to condos and apartments again the price varies depending on the area and depending on the number of rooms and washrooms and for those of you who don't know the difference between an apartment and condo the thing is both are flats but in an apartment you don't have the laundry inside your house there is a separate floor in the building where you have your washers and your dryers you're supposed to purchase tokens every time you go there and then you have to wash your clothes dry them and bring them back to your apartment whereas in a condo uh, you have the washer and dryer inside the house which uh, i think is really really convenient especially during COVID-19 times because we don't want to be in contact with too many people we don't want to wash our clothes in a washer you know which is being used by so many people so even though we had liked one apartment uh, we decided to let go of it although I felt very sad because I really liked the view 
and the way the house was constructed but then we thought it's better to be in a condo and so that because i have uh, young kids and i wash my clothes every alternate day so it made more sense to be in in a uh, apartment sorry in a flat where i have the washer and the dryer inside so when we started our house uh, hunting the price of the condo varied from two thousand dollars to twenty four hundred dollars so we saw many condos of uh, different price ranges and even shortlisted a few but the problem was that the landlord was reluctant to rent it out to newly landed immigrants who do not have a job at all so that was the biggest hurdle which we had to face and like i said we were really very lucky to have that real estate agent because i have seen him conversing with the landlord and the way he was trying to convince them that uh, we'll pay our rent on time that will take good care of the house and one of his long-term clients who's also a good friend has recommended us to him and so he can vouch for us so i think that was really really great on his part it was a you know big help and i think if it wasn't for him we wouldn't have got a, a good house i would say although the airbnb place which we had rented the owners were very nice they were from india they offered to us that we can rent their basement if we want because we had rented a basement initially to see you know how it feels to live in a basement and but uh, they had four rooms and one washroom so we wanted minimum two washrooms and moreover they were asking for 2300 earlier they asked for 2500 then they reduced it to 2300 dollars so it didn't make any sense to rent a basement and pay 2300 dollars and just have one washroom and you know no ventilation no windows nothing so uh, we thought that you know it's better uh, to hire uh, sorry to rent a condo and then uh, he showed us many condos so the one which we rented uh was is is owned by a very nice person and he was an immigrant himself a few years back so when he met us he met us he immediately agreed to rent the house to us and you know uh, later on when i spoke to him he said that he has been in our shoes he, he has been an immigrant and he knows what the struggles are so you know he's just paying it back uh to the society by helping newcomers and so that's why he decided to rent the house to us and uh, i think i'm very very thankful to our real estate agent and also to our landlord you know for having faith in us that uh we would not uh, occupy their house without paying the rent on time so Uh, I, I'm also going to include a video of my house uh, at the end of this video, so that you know uh, how it looks. Uh, I'm paying twenty-two uh, hundred dollars for my condo, and the view from my house is really, really superb, and it's spacious. We have two washrooms and one master bedroom, one den, and Uh, there is a, 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 an in suite uh, locker basically a locker is a storage room where you can put your stuff so it's like a small room and since we had immigrated so we had a lot of luggage with us so now all that was neatly packed up in the locker you know so that was really nice and there's then there's another small store room with the washroom so that again helped me a lot because i was really worried about Uh, where i would keep my luggage and the extra stuff and i was thinking maybe you know i'll just have to keep it uh, in the living room itself and you know it will be a sore sight you know having to see all those bags every day and not having any proper place to store them away so anyhow i think uh, we got a very good deal at a good price and our uh, condo 
is uh, you know well connected with bus service my place of work is very close to it i walk every day and it has been really really nice so far so when you come to canada and you go house hunting make sure that uh, for your initial stay you stay in a basement so that you get an idea about how your life would be in a basement and if you want to rent uh, an apartment or a condo a condo is always a better choice because a washer and dryer is inside the unit and you need not go out anywhere you need not pay money every time you wash your laundry uh, you know because that's another unnecessary expenditure and another thing is make sure that it's well connected either there is a good bus service near to your house or your um, uh, house is near the train station so that when you have to go to your workplace you do not waste time in commuting or you do not have to pay like a good amount of money on cabs and stuff like that another thing which uh, you should remember is that uh, always uh, meet your landlord first you know so that there is a kind of comfort level between both of you and talking about comfort level i just want to share a very small incident that uh, after about one month of staying in the house uh, the tap in my washroom suddenly started leaking and although it was not much of a leak but i don't know the people who were staying downstairs they said that there was a slight wetness on the ceiling and you know like a slight trickle and i was quite uh, perplexed because the leakage was not there before and it started only uh i think in the night and i saw it in the morning and so I, I was just confused, you know, how in a span of six to seven hours, you know, a leakage could start in the uh, condo, uh, which is uh, below our hours. So anyhow, uh, I got a new tap and I told the management to get me a plumber, you know, so that I can just get the tap changed. And then they contacted uh, my landlord. And till that time, I didn't know that he's a certified plumber and then uh, his uh, wife gave me a call and she said that you need not worry my husband will come there he's gonna fix everything then I told her that I have bought a tap so I'll just send you a picture on whatsapp and you can just see you know if it will work well if it doesn't uh, fit then I'll get another one so then she told me you need not uh, buy any tap please return it right away we are gonna fix everything we are gonna get the new tap and the next day my landlord came he fixed everything he got the tap uh, and the pipes and everything and 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 then he said that it's my responsibility to see that you guys are comfortable and you need not spend anything from your pocket if anything goes wrong in the future just call me and i'm gonna fix it and then i just casually asked him you know like how much this entire thing would have costed the labor charges as well as the tap and the extra pipes which you changed so he told me it was roughly an expenditure of about five hundred dollars so i was flabbergasted imagine uh, you have to pay five hundred dollars for just changing a tap and this guy over there he just came and changed everything fixed everything free of cost and he was so nice so helpful so kind to us and I cannot help but feel gratitude to the universe and to him uh, that uh, uh, you know in this start of new journey we have only met good people so far who have helped us in settling down uh, as quickly as possible and as comfortably as possible so I think it's very important to have a good rapport with your landlord because ultimately he's the one who's going to help you uh, in times of need and so yeah i think this sums up uh, pretty much everything i had to say so until my next video bye bye take care and if you liked my video please do like it share it and subscribe to my channel i have a space on cura which is called canada immigrants uh, it is all about the immigration process life in canada ielts uh, I answer questions there related to immigration. I share other people's answers about uh, queries related to immigration. So 
if you are on Cura, do check it out. If you like it, then give me a follow. And thank you so much. Until next time, bye-bye.